Welcome to Classic Game Room Broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade, where I have the Techno Plus flight stick for the Super Nintendo. Is it as super as the Nintendo it plays games on? Let's find out. It does make a lot of clicking noises. Stop playing with the giant red button from Techno Plus, which sounds like Techno Cop or Techno Soft. It's the SNES flight stick for the Super Nintendo and flight games. Just look at this thing. It looks like a real flight stick, like the one found in spaceships or airplanes if they had all of the buttons required to play Super Nintendo games, which they which they don't. This does. And it has giant suction cups. Take that space shuttle. It looks neat, but how's it perform? Let's test it with some Star Fox on the Super Nintendo. If you can hear the game above all of the clicking sounds. The first thing you'll want to do is start the game and then play with these suction cups, which don't work very well, but make a neat suction cup sound. I don't know why they always put suction cups on these things, because suction cups do very little to prevent it from sliding around on a surface. Maybe, maybe they'll stop it from pulling up. Suction cups are totally overrated. What they should have done with products like this is send you a roll of duct tape, because that fixes everything. Except the clicking noise. The clicking noise that this flight stick makes overpowers everything, including the game, your thoughts, laser blasts, explosions, earthquakes. The clicking noise wins every time and gets really irritating after a while. Also, this controller doesn't work very well on Star Fox at all. In fact, it's terrible. Turns out I don't have very many flight games for the Super Nintendo, but I have a copy of Axle. Make clicking noises and work. Axel is a game I'm just getting into and learning to play. This controller works better on it than Star Fox, that's for sure. Although not well enough to recommend. I don't actually have a copy of Pilot Wings to test this on, but I'm pretty sure the clicking noise would ruin that game too. But I've got to give a huge classic game room shout out and thank you to my friend Mark from Vremen, Germany, who sent lots of cool things to the show, including this controller, which is the loudest one of them all. I'd recommend that you all stick with your standard Super Nintendo gamepad, which works perfectly well and is nice and quiet. Ow. Yet again, I've been defeated by a giant robot spider. I'll never learn.